Okay, this is just to let you see what a wiki book looks like if you haven't seen one. This particular one is in the PDF format. It's very flexible. It's 74 pages in length. It's highly detailed and it's fully referenced. Um, it's an excellent supplementary resource to the handouts that I use, to the PowerPoint slides that I use and the various other exercises that I do. If I quickly scroll down, you'll get some idea of um, how it looks. It also tells me um, the data which this was generated okay, and it tells me that it's under the op open source code everything is under a Creative Commons license and it allows me to make changes to this and to distribute it I'm safe to put this onto the virtual learning environment of my particular university I could pass this around to students etc that's okay it's all covered in the license uh, the contents uh, it generates a list of contents which is quite useful so I kind of got my core contents, which is articles from Wikipedia on Tesco, Tesco Clubcard, Tesco.com specifically. Um, then also I've also been supporting areas such as electronic commerce, internet, internet, the long tail concept, for example, and also Amazon, so I can compare what's going on between Tesco and Amazon. Now, one of the useful things about Wikibooks is if at some point I decide, do you know what? I want to change the order of these, or I want to change the mix of these. Maybe I just want to produce a real core of material or I decide that actually I don't want to bring Amazon in at this stage because it will confuse students rather than as I did getting them to compare and contrast because they were ready for it um, then I can quickly generate another book okay. I get a full set of references at the end it's really useful along with all the relevant licenses so in this day and age you'll find your university management are very happy these are free to generate and these are relatively easy to generate and quick to generate um, as I go down, it's all numbered, I get all the information that's on Wikipedia provided to by the license, the vast majority of stuff is. So things like tables and figures, um, images, etc. are all there. If I scroll down, what you'll also notice here is I've used the highlight. There are tools that allow you to highlight text and tools that allow you to put little comments and observations in. One of the nice things about this, and this is where we can sort of add to the value of the basic wiki book, is that I can put additional comments and observations into my version of the book before I upload it onto now or email it out to the students, because I can ad put additional value in. Or it may be that I don't choose to put additional comments in, but I choose to put lots of questions in or links into other resources and material. So we can really turn this into a very useful kind of learning and teaching object for the students. Um, one of the other useful things is, is that once you put your comments in or your highlights in, that's saved within the format of the file and it's kept. And then if also if I go, for example, to the comment menu here, then it shows me a list of these comments. It also notes who the author is who's put them in. So it could be that I put some in, I send it out to students who put their own in, send it back to me. I could quickly look at my comments versus their comments, etc., etc. Uh, but if I go down to a sample comment, for example, jumping down here, again, here I've highlighted some key points. Um, so it's you know Chris Anderson who wrote this article about the long tail. Uh, I want to remind myself that what is it about this book in the library? And I reminded myself that oh yeah, mention to students as copies in the library, for example, and we can get the article online. Uh, I've just put these in as samples, but you, you get the general idea. This could just as well be a question, or it could refer to another session or a worksheet or something that's appropriate. Um, again, in this latest version of the PDF reader, and this reader is free, and it covers a lot of um, different sort of operating systems, so it's really flexible and really useful. Um, it gives me some other options. There is an option to the screen readers to read out the text contents out loud. Um, I can also go and look at. I can get this, for example, put into different screen modes, um, so I can get it showing um, displaying at different sizes. Um, I've also got the option, for example, to tell it to automatically scroll through the document. So this is a long document. I imagine my poor wall out students at the end of a long day come back, they need to look at this. Again, they could put it onto auto scroll and they could let the document run along. Um, things might look slightly odd just because I'm recording this in a screen reader. Okay, so there you can get the general sense of the kind of thing that can go on. I could stop this at any time that I want to. Again, I could highlight things, add notes in, or I could continue auto-reading this, or I could simply use the traditional scroll bar and move up and down within the document. Um, I'll just quickly scroll down towards the end. So 
what you can see here is just a sample of the references again the generic thing we're pushing with students is the value of referencing um, all the information articles are fully referenced um, there's examples of further reading external links and all the sources and contributors that are cited some staff have concerns about uh, the relatively open nature of Wikipedia uh, but one way to address that is not to use these articles in isolation. I, don't, I tell students not to use the Wikibook alone, not to use Wikipedia alone, but to use it as part of their range of materials. But I have to say, as a way of presenting structured information, and it's information that I can put additional comments into and additional questions into, it's proved very useful. I was able to generate for one final year module hundreds of pages of supporting information that was built around the particular topics that we were studying on particular weeks. Um, with this kind of quality of text and images and reference sources etc etc something I simply would not have time to do um, and be able to justify it as part of my overall workload I also generated wiki books on things like basic statistics and research methods for students on other modules and generally found them to be really really useful the students uh, the, the feedback I got from students said they also found it really really helpful it gave them a real good starting point from which to kind of begin investigating topics. Um, it doesn't necessarily spoon feed them because we make it clear that we want them to go beyond the material that's perhaps just in here. And as I said, the annotations and notes and comments can be in the form of questions as well as comments and observations. Um, and just finally to reiterate, you know, this is a free resource, it's a very useful resource. Um, other practitioners can look at this kind of thing and if you, you think I like to do that fine you can go onto Wikipedia you can create your own wiki book that might run to hundreds of pages for nothing in a few minutes and in this day and age that's a pretty good thing to be able to do